Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest, I would say, examples of mass hysteria in the cryptocurrency market that I've seen in quite some time, and that is Ryblox. Yeah, I said it, and I know a lot of people are going to dislike this video because of it, and I genuinely don't care. Ryblox has pumped absurdly in the month of December, but more importantly, okay, it's been around for quite some time. You mean to tell me that just now, in December, all of a sudden, everybody discovered the fact that the block lattice is going to be the future, and this is going to change everything. No, that's not what happened. What happened is that we started to see little pumps and people talking about it more and more. And as people talked about it more and more, it started going up like this. Now we see it pumping up to the moon because of the fact that there's this little community vote going on on Binance that will have it list on Binance. If they're successful, you can see that they're currently winning. And if you look at any of the Reddits right now, Ryblox is the future. Everybody's so excited about Ryblox. Why is everybody so excited about Ryblox? Well, they're excited because of the fact that the transactions are fast and they're feeless. That's it. That's all there is to it. Oh, and the fact that throughput is so high. What is throughput? That's basically how many transactions you can squeeze in per second. How fast can the network process transactions? And everybody's touting this 7,000 plus transactions per second. That's what's got everybody excited about Ryblox. That's all there is to it, is that it's extremely fast. It can process transactions instantaneously and the fees are low. As a result of that, and because we're seeing Bitcoin struggle to process as many transactions as it currently is, Ryblox is clearly going to be the future. It's going to change everything. And my answer to that is, no, it's not. Plain and simple. And this has nothing to do with me being, I don't, <laughs> some people are going to say, oh, you missed out on this pump. And that means that that's why you have to put down Ryblox. It has nothing to do with that. If you look at other cryptocurrencies, there are other cryptocurrencies that can handle transactions very quickly that are smaller than Ryblox right now. For example, BitShares can handle transactions very quickly and actually handles a lot of transactions. Steam is probably the best example. Instantaneous transactions within three seconds, no fees associated with them, and it handles over a million transactions per day. I mean, really, if we were looking for just speed, if we were looking for just fee-less transactions, if we were looking at just the ability to handle that many transactions and have very high throughput, there are other options out there that can handle that. Plain and simple, there are plenty of options out there. We don't need Ryblox to do that. So why is Ryblox pumping so much? I don't know. People, for some reason, think it's going to become the next Bitcoin or it's going to replace Ripple because it's fast. And the short answer is no, it's not. The number one issue facing cryptocurrencies, and I want everybody to stick this in their head, and I'll probably make a separate video about it at some time. The number one issue facing cryptocurrencies right now is not, not scalability. Okay, and I want everybody to remember that. The number one issue facing cryptocurrencies right now is not scalability. That will be fixed. I have no doubt in my mind that in another five years, scalability will be a much smaller problem than it is now. Okay? It's the natural evolution of technology to fix issues like scalability. So that's not the biggest issue. The number one issue facing cryptocurrencies right now is adoption. And why is there slow adoption? It's because they're not useful in most cases. With Bitcoin, you're right. Transaction speed is far too slow. The transaction fees are far too high. It's inconvenient to use. Lightning is supposed to fix a lot of those things. But even when Lightning comes along, guess what the next problem is going to be for adoption? It's going to be the user interface. The user interface is going to suck. It's going to be difficult for people to understand how to use Bitcoin because for a lot of you, it's easy to understand how to use Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. For most people, the layman person, it's going to be difficult to use, no matter how simple they make it. Right? The internet was complex to a lot of people until they came out with iPads. Right? And that was a recent innovation. So that's what you need to remember here, is that user interface is going to be a very important improvement that we need to see with cryptocurrencies moving into the future. In addition to that, more businesses need to start accepting them as currencies. And guess what? 
good luck convincing XYZ business that they should accept bribe blocks. The only reason, and I'm serious about this, the only reason that a business will accept bribe blocks is because number one, the owner already knew about it and is invested in rye blocks or for whatever reason somebody else was able to convince him that he should accept it or number two because of the fact that he just wants to support cryptocurrency in general and he knows that certain people will use his shop just because of the fact that he supports different cryptocurrencies as payments and by the way I think that's the number one reason that anybody accepts Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a form of payment right now I don't think it's because it's convenient in the majority of use cases. I think it's just because of the fact that they want to sucker in a few more customers who are adamant about supporting cryptocurrencies. So in general here, the issue is not with scalability. That's going to be fixed with the Lightning Network. And there's going to be a ton of other ways in which we can fix scalability, right? We can decrease the transaction size. We can increase the size of the blocks. And there's tons of other ways in which we can innovate Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in this list to increase scalability. I'm telling you right now the issue is that we don't have enough adoption because there's not enough use cases for these cryptocurrencies relative to a centralized solution. I can tell you right now there's almost no reason to use Bitcoin over PayPal. But the same thing is true for a lot of other cryptocurrencies as well. The infrastructure is already there for PayPal. The infrastructure is already there for Square. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's easy to accept cryptocurrencies, not for mom and pa that don't understand what they are. So the number one issue facing cryptocurrencies is not scalability. Ryblox isn't going to do jack. I'm sorry. In addition to that, some people are saying it's going to become the next big cross-currency pair on all sorts of different exchanges. Wrong again. If that were the case, then Ether would be way up there. Ripple would be way up there. But more importantly, Ether. For it to be a major cross-currency pair, okay, for a cryptocurrency to be a major cross-currency pair, there needs to be a lot of fiat on-ramps. And there is a lot of fiat on-ramps for Ethereum. Yet despite this, the majority of transaction volume is done in Bitcoin. Why? Because it's the number one cryptocurrency to use and has been forever. And that's just the way it is. It has nothing to do with transaction speeds. And let's be real here, the only time you really need to transact Bitcoin is to send it between exchanges. In other words, once you have it on the exchange, there's no difference between using Bitcoin or Ethereum because these are all settled off-chain within the particular exchange. So in general here, it's going to be very difficult for Ryblox to be anything more than just another fast cryptocurrency. And we have a lot of those already, and we have one in the form of Steam and BitShares that's already seeing much more adoption, right? You can see Steam all the way over a million transactions per day and then you can see bit shares here over 300,000 transactions per day so what I want everybody to remember here is that speed is not everything scalability is not everything and we need more than just another currency trust me so this is probably going to be one of the biggest pump and dumps of all time I would be prepared for it to probably go up into the top 10 cryptocurrencies just because everybody is shilling for it. I mean, wow. I have never seen more shills for a cryptocurrency. And I've seen a lot of shilling before. Even Vertcoin wasn't this bad. I mean, this is insanity. Everybody is talking about Ryblox. It's the next flavor of the week, flavor of the month, whatever you want to call it. And it will eventually rotate out of interest. The same thing happened with Vertcoin. If we look all the way down here, you can see now Vertcoin's all the way at rank 77. At its peak, I believe Vertcoin was all the way up at rank, what, 20th, 25th or so? Ryblox is doing even better than that. It's all the way up at rank 15 and continues to increase despite the fact that it's only on one exchange that practically nobody uses, right? If you go here, you can see BrickRail. So I think this is going to be one of the most insane pump and dumps of all time. It probably still has some more room left to pump. If you're buying it because you think that for whatever reason its use case is going to exceed that of all other cryptocurrencies, I think you're going to be sorely disappointed. I think you're going to find that it's probably not used all that frequently at all, and it's probably not going to replace Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency as a cross-currency pair. But I'd be willing to be proven wrong. I don't think I will be, though. So it should be interesting to watch that over the coming, I guess, over the following month or so maybe the next two months or so, 
And then after that, I suspect that Ryblox will probably be forgotten and we will move on to the next flavor of the week. Plain and simple. It's just the way how things work. So that's my opinion on Ryblox. A lot of people have been asking me about it. Sorry to bash it so much, but really, guys, come on. It's not going to change everything as we know it. It's not going to revolutionize the world. It's just another cryptocurrency that's being pegged as if it's going to change everything. Yet we're still in the proof of concept stage. We still don't know what it's like when there's hundreds of thousands of transactions on this particular technology. And I think it's going to be interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of conflicts. So should be interesting to see what happens. Stay tuned. I will keep you all up to date if anything interesting happens with it. It's probably going to pump quite a bit more once it comes on to Binance. And then after that, I think over the following couple of months, people are mostly going to forget about it. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you probably didn't. Go ahead and sign up for Steemit if you want to give me a piece of your mind. I tend to interact a lot more on that platform. I know a lot of people are probably going to tell me that I don't understand the tech or how it's going to be so much better. And I'm just going to tell you right here and now, the tech could be amazing and flawless and perfect, and it still won't be as revolutionary as everybody thinks. Because guess what? That's not the problem. And you're going to find that out soon. I really do. I think you're going to find that out very shortly if you're bullish on Ryblox. But you might still enjoy quite a bit of a pump after it comes on Binance here, because that just tends to be the nature of when a new currency gets launched on an exchange, especially an exchange like Binance. So stay tuned. We'll probably talk about that in the future. Go ahead and sign up for Steemit so you can interact with me. As usual, leave a like, comment, and subscription, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.